Sup, everyone. All right. I can't believe I haven't done this rant. I think I've had a bitch about it a few times, but, um, yeah, the way to leave a gym. Like, I swore I'd done a video on this. Maybe I just did it on my Facebook or something a while back, and it was just as a Facebook video or something, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. But, man, there are correct ways to leave a gym. Um, and that is to go and speak to your old trainer first. Address the situation. If you think you're missing out on something, talk to them. If if But if you're not happy and you want to leave, then go and talk to your trainer. If people don't know how to do this, contact Ryan Angel, who recently left my gym and was nothing but a gentleman about it. Came in, spoke to me about it. We sat down, we had a chat and left on perfect terms, you know. Um, but... This whole just disappearing for six months, popping up at another gym. Oh, I don't want to continue doing Muay Thai anymore. Okay, just popping up at another gym. This is all about fighters, yeah? If you've ever fought for a gym and you don't have enough self-respect to go and speak to your old trainer before you start a new gym, you're just a useless piece of shit, really. Like, I don't give two fucks whether your trainer was a piece of shit to you. Whatever, you need to go and speak to them. No matter what, they've been a teacher to you and they've given you something and they've they've helped in your career, so you need to speak to them. They, you might not be their paying customer, whatever anymore, but you need to go and talk to them. This is how it works. I don't give a fuck if you haven't trained in six months, you haven't trained in fucking two, three years. Just go and speak to your original trainer and say, look, I'm moving on. That's all it is. It's never easy for us to hear it, but... To actually hear someone have the balls to say... I don't mean send a fucking SMS. SMS is for pussies. And if you if you SMS to, to quit from a gym, you are a fucking wanker. Like, lowest of the low, if you ask me. Um, but if you have any self-respect at all, just don't be entitled. Don't be a millennial. Literally, just go and speak to your trainer. No trainer is going to... Say, so, oh, you know, I want to leave. Oh, fuck you! It's not going to happen. They're, they're, if if that per, if that trainer does do that, and you act, if that affects you, then you are the weak cunt again. Like, if you're if you go to your old trainer and say you're leaving, and they crack the shits at you or they talk down to you or whatever, then they're that's their shortcoming. They're obviously egotistical. They they don't give a fuck about you. Whatever. So, important thing is go and see your old trainer. Speak to them. Sit down and talk to them. Lay down on the table what what you believe is the problem, what you what your thoughts are, and any any trainer with any self respect will sit down and go, okay, let let me address those things like in their own mind, and they can sit there and talk about it. Ryan gave me some pointers before he left on what he believes, and I've you know taken that on board, and I'm using that now. Um, but you never, you are never above your trainer. Like, once you leave there, cool, but leave the right way. Even if you don't want to train anymore and you say to your trainer, look, I'm leaving, um, I'm, I'm quitting, I may start somewhere else in the future, um, but you should always go and let them know before you start up somewhere. Don't let them find out through social media and shit like that. It's disgusting. Especially when a trainer's done nothing but good for you and I see it all the time where a trainer's, done their best for this person. The person was, it was their own problem. They, they, they either wanted to party too much or whatever. And it was everyone else's fault. And then all of a sudden they start up in a new gym, didn't even have the respect to go and speak to their fucking trainer. It's disgusting. Uh, I, I never, never would have done that. Even after fight club shut down back in the day, I still went and spoke to Sam Benetti about training at Flinders when I came back to Australia on my holidays and stuff. It was the full-time gym had shut down and I went and spoke to him about that. I wasn't even living in Australia anymore. I wasn't even fighting in Australia anymore. And then the gym, the, the, the gym had, had closed down, you know, like he was, yeah, he was still training out of his back shed and stuff. But as far as, you know, I was still fighting in Thailand. So I kind of needed the, the extra, the, you know, the, the groups of Thai stylists and stuff around me at that time. 
And he was like, yeah, cool. And still to this day, nothing but respect for each other. We love each other. He, you know, we still do work together and stuff as well. But these people that just don't have any respect for anyone, they don't even respect themselves. You can't say that you love yourself if you can't have self-respect and actually be willing to talk to someone face to face. Man, I, I had I had a chat yesterday with one of my old students who's literally, I think, trained twice since COVID. So 12 months is probably trained twice. I think about that. And she asked me, she ne was never a fighter, just a, just a good person in the gym. She contacted me yesterday and wanted to speak to me about moving gyms because it suits her work hours. The gym's closer to her house. That's great. That's what respect is. That's self-respect is number one. If you don't have that respect for yourself, you're never going to respect anyone else. So time to be fucking adults. If you want to leave a gym, go and speak to your trainer. If you're scared of your trainer, you're a fucking loser. Go and tell them what you think. You don't have to be rude about it. You don't have to abuse them. You just tell them that it's not working. And the reasons, give them reasons, something for them to work on. If they don't work, want to work on that, that's fine. But you've done the right thing. And that's the important bit. Fuck them. Fuck, fuck what anyone else thinks. You need to do the right thing to show self-respect. And show, show that appreciation for whatever that person did for you. They could have been a shit trainer, but they've done something to your career. They've done something to you as a fighter. So yeah, if you've been a fighter and you don't have the balls to, to go and speak to your trainer before you leave a gym, you can get fucked. Don't ever come to my gym. Peace.